Hello everyone, welcome to the first series of a tutorial where I'll be teaching you how to create a tower defense game in Unity. So, the first mechanic we will be integrating is the enemy moving from the entry point to the exit point of the map. We will have a map with a road linking both sides. I will teach you how to create a path using busy curves. And we will set the enemy units to follow this path. Here is how the final results of this first tutorial should look like. So let's jump right into it. We start by creating a new 2D project. First, let's add the map's background. We create an empty game object and name it Map. We add a sprite as a child to it. We need to add the map's texture to our project first. So, let's create a texture folder and add the map's texture to it. You can find the link for the resources I used in the video description. Now we drag and drop our sprites in the map BG object. Let's fix the size of the camera. And set the background color to black. Great, now that we have the map background set, let's integrate the busy curve for the init path. We will start simple and draw a line first. So let's create an empty game object and name it line. We create a scripts folder. We create a new script and name it line. We open the line script. A line is defined by two points. So let's add two attributes, P0 and P1 of type vector tree. We add this script as a component to the object line. We adjust the points values. To be able to draw the line, we need to use a custom editor for our component. We should create a new folder for our editor scripts. It must be called editor. Scripts placed in the editor folder are treated by Unity as editor scripts rather than runtime scripts. Inside the editor folder, we create a new script called line editor. Line editor should inherit from editor. We use the namespace Unity Editor. We derive from editor to create our own inspectors and editors for our objects. We also need to attach the editor to the component line.
we will use the yarn scene GUI method to draw our line. First, we get the object being inspected. The editor class has a target variable, and it's set to the object being inspected. We cast this variable to a line and use it to draw our line. We check if the line is not null before we start using it. We get the points defined in the line. We set the color of the line. We use the handles class to draw a line between these two points. Great, now we can see the line. But if we try to move the transform position, the line doesn't move with it. So let's fix that. We need to transform the point's position from local space towards space before drawing the line. We use the transform points method from the transform class. Awesome! Now we can move the line as we change the transform position. We reset the line. We create a scene folder and save our scene into it. We will end this video here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave your feedback and subscribe. We will continue this tutorial in the next video.